the Indy Burger Battle is happening now, and we are all the winners, but especially the charity Building Tomorrow. It's a not-for-profit organization founded in 2006 here in Indy to support education in Uganda. The group works to enroll out-of-school children into school and build schools where no schools existed. So far, just so far, they have enrolled 55,000 students and built 81 schools. And you can help. And all you have to do is participate in the Indie Burger Battle, where 10 restaurants compete for Best Burger and People's Champion. Here's one of the entries from Roger Martin, owner of Ralston's Draft House. Joining me now is Roger Martin, the owner of Ralston's Draft House. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? I'm fine, thanks. What made you decide to be a part of the Indie Burger Battle? Well, uh, with the Better Tomorrow um, approach with today's scenarios, I thought it would be a good thing to get involved. Uh, we also are eager to show off some of our products and hopefully have the guests go out and have a good time while they're experiencing new food. Yeah, flex some uh, creative culinary muscle, right? We'll try our best, yes. <laughs> and I notice it's a little, this is your first year, but it's a little different than years past, right? It's, a, it's not just a one-day deal. It's sort of a, it's over a bit of a stretch. Does that change your approach at all? I actually like the approach. It's the guests get to go out, uh, travel all over Indiana, or I should say Indianapolis, and try these new items and uh, hopefully escape for a bit during uh, the environment of today. Yeah. So what are you serving up for the battle this year? Uh, this year, we're actually going to do four choices. I have two of them with me. We are going to do our recession burger, which is right here. Okay. Uh, there we do a dehydrated Worcestershire seasoning on the burger patty. We make a bourbon barrel cheese in-house, which is done with Kentucky's bourbon ale and aged white cheddar. We have Nooski smoked bacon, our house-made ketchup, house-made mustard, and that is a stout mustard. Then we top that off with microgreens for a nice, intense, earthy flavor to round it out. Wow. The other one, oh, yeah, the other one's going to be for the vegetarians. This is our, make sure I have the right name for you, the Santo Poco. This is a uh, quinoa patty that we make in-house, and that is topped with a avocado lime crema sauce that we make, and then we top that off with the microgreens as well. Wow. I, and, and you're going to have two more options? That is correct. Uh, we have one, the Enzo Gorlami, which is an heirloom tomato, cucumber, shallot, um, marinated in a champagne vinaigrette. That one we're going to top with a feta spread and basil flowers. And then the other burger is a farmhouse burger. Uh, we do that with the Nooski smoked bacon simmered down in maple syrup goat cheese, and a tomato jam. This doesn't sound like your first year doing this. <laughs> we try to add some interesting flavors. Uh, I attack the palate of the guests because our objective here is to make everybody feel comfortable. And by doing so, it's one of the things I always believe in is how comfortable are they personally, the taste buds, um, mm. get those complimented with vinegars and jams and what have you. And then, yeah, hopefully they'll enjoy and relax. Well, those four options, I can't <laughs> try to figure out how we're going to get to the other nine restaurants that are participating. So in the competitions like, like this, um, there's usually like a, uh, there's like a judge's winner and then like a people's choice. Really, the people are the judges, though, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's all in good fun and for a good cause. Um, we just hope to give the guests, like I said, uh, hopefully they get to clock out, maybe escape for a while and um, enjoy themselves. Well, I'd wish you the best of luck, Roger, but with those offerings, I don't think you're going to need it. Well, thank you very much. Now, we're not done making you hungry for burgers just yet. Coming up, we'll meet one of Ralston's competitors and see what the chefs at Spoken Steel have cooked up for the Indy Burger Battle. And it's more than one, and they're repeating champions.